Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, my name is Gorgonoth, and I am casting more week 6 of the PTL. PTL is a Brood War team league, um, trying to reinvigorate the Brood War scene. And if you want to know more about it, I did a video yesterday, so check it out on my YouTube channel. I did a little bit more about it, because people have commented and say they want to know more about it. You can also join the Discord, do other things, but I'm going to try to keep this short, introduction short, and get right into this. So, um... This week, we do have the title wrong, so I will change the title right now. I was going to do that other one, but change that as EMG versus SEC C Team. Uh, SEC C Team, not done very well this year. EMG is done okay. Uh, this is really important for EMG to win because if they want to secure the last playoff spot, they need to start getting 3-0s and really moving up the chain. So, expect them to win here, and they probably will. So, I hope that does happen. I do go for EMG and SCCC team. They have not done good this year, so don't expect them to be pulling much out here. We'll see if they can pull off an upset. It'd be pretty much an upset if they could if they could win this. Um, so, our first map is um, going to be on Circuit Breakers, I believe. Double check that, make sure that's the right map. Yep, circuit break. Okay. With these new um Alright, close that so you don't see the replay progress. Alright, in the top right hand position we have Irea for EMG. No, it's actually I'm J I'm Jiraira. I'm a Jiraiya. I'm a Jiraiya. And in the bottom left hand corner, the purple Protoss is SEC Nervosa. So PVZ on circuit breakers. Interesting to see if we're gonna see a gate first or a forge first. And see how greedy um if Nervosa is gonna be. If gonna try to go for any sort of like Stargateless play to try to get some really fast aggression out, or we'll see what he does. Or go for some sort of fast timing. Also see if we see any aggression out of I'm Dryer. Interesting here. Interesting to see. It is nice, the new patch um, did, does allow these showing production and things that is cool. Both players scouting the wrong directions, as is standard on circuit breakers, it seems. So we're going to see here, forge first or a gate first, um, it is going to be a forge. So nothing unexpected majorly there. Um, you know, gate or forge, have seen a lot of gate firsts, um, to say just really a more aggressive play style, um, delaying tech. Uh, going for that forge, you can try to get a really fast timing of your own if you want. It's it's safe. So it is just going to be a pool. Um, I mean, hatch, and might get a third hatch. Will he? Okay, no. Um. Yeah, no pool yet. All right, there it is. So, and we'll see how fast the third hatch is thrown down. Going for our first cannon up here, and going to put his nexus down soon. So just going and get forge cannon opening. Very safe. No early ling's going to do anything here. Uh, with forge placement, I might prefer to have him, especially in the early game, put the forge on the bottom side. And then the cannon here, because in the early game, if he does go for a really early run by, which obviously he's not, he's scouted, but the, there's, they get less cannon shots than if the forge is blocking this area, and then the cannon is coming in. Just a little something to note. I mean, definitely not a, no sort of a game changer, just an interesting, he does put the um, forge up top. And that will, of course, be sealed with the gate, so it really won't matter soon, but 
just a little something that I think about as walling in as a Protoss. So the probe, uh, did he scout? Let's see. No, he did not get in the main. He wants to get in the main. And, ooh, we'll die. That's a bummer. Really needs to get that in there. Do some sort of scouting. And... Reveal all. Third base is thrown down, so it's very a bummer that he didn't scout that. He needs to get that scout. Um, so for um, Nerviosi, just gonna go for a gas. Early, earlier, a little bit of an early gas. Um, another cannon. He's being very safe and a gateway. Both these players not looking to put on any sort of early, super early aggression. And he is going up to four hat. This is his fourth hatch. So, could be a five hatch Hydra bust. We'll see. Does seem very common among Zergs these days. Or has always been common, but, you know, seeing it of increasing repetition. Alright, so... We've got four hatches down, and the fifth hatch may come soon. But... He's just droning up for now, so um, no Stargate yet. Of course, just the Cybercore. Well, Cybercore will finish. So we'll see if he gets the Stargate. Um, Stargate, of course, the safe play, if, especially since he did not get a scout. And plus one weapons started, and we should see that his tech choice being thrown down here very shortly and it will be we're waiting for it and it will be a stargate okay so just very very safe very normal no sort of crazy early DTs or something and link speed on the way I mean Hydra Speed, excuse me. So, yeah, that fifth hatch going down. So he is, he is uh, on a good amount of drones here. Not super heavy, but he's gearing up for a five hatch Hydra um, bust in here. Got um, um, Hydra movement, excuse me, was sling movement and Hydra movement. So, needs to get that first Corsair in right into the main. And not aggro onto that overlord because he needs to get that scouting out ASAP. Um, getting goon range. Uh, whoa, plus one air. Okay. All right. So he's committing to quite a number of corsairs. I mean, that's pretty. That's uh, wow. Don't see that often. That's kind of a weird tech choice. And will he aggro onto the um, overlord or will he scout? Um, he is wasting time here, sitting, and my guess is he will aggro onto the Overlord, unfortunately. So, no more Corsairs being produced, but he committed to plus one. Um, that may be a misclick, or he may just not be super familiar with this matchup. Alright, alright, got the Corsair keyed up, just maybe a little bit of a lapse there. And I don't think he even got that Overlord. No, he didn't. It's weird. Oh, no save. Um, he needs to... All right, no kills, so he did not get any Overlords. And starting to produce quite a bit of Hydras here. Got the fourth base down. Really no pressure at all from... Um, Nerviose. Really not much happening on his front. So we'll see um, if that Hydra Bust is going to be how good it's going to do. So, yeah, interested to see if that Hydra Bust will end him here. Not really a bust. I mean, he's going up to f um, four bases, but I have a feeling he may just completely walk over here. Okay, got um, Overlord Speed. So Overlord Speed, we're seeing that quite a bit for scouting. I'm going to return to the standard view. There we go.
getting quite a number of hydras out. He is up to um, 80 supply. Just zoom out a little bit. It kind of annoys me being in that really tight mode. Well, I'll zoom because I know everybody prefers that. And his goon count is getting, he's starting to mix in some goons. Um, okay, so I think um, Nerviosi may not be the highest caliber player. Uh, he's banking tons, tons here. And he will probably be ended by this attack here. He really has, I mean, the Templars will keep him alive for a long time. And he's just banking absolutely tons here. That is unfortunate. Uh, running some wings around. And Lurker's coming in here, so it will be a Lurker bust. And is there any observers? There's not. And the fourth base down, so at least he is expanding a relatively reasonable pace. But here comes the push, and I'm assuming that most of those will be overlords. I mean, will be lurkers. This base is going to get shut down. And the push is coming out here. Streaming in. The fourth base will not see the light of day unless he just decides to go for straight for the natural. He only has to dodge about uh, three, maybe four storms. Um, so yeah, we'll get shut down and I expect this force will overwhelm him. Already got his fifth here expanding. Um, yeah, I gotta give it to, um, I'm Jiraira. I'm a, I'm a Jiraiya. Uh, let's see that. It's I am J J I R. so I'm Jiraiya. I'm Jiraiya. Here, he looks, his macro looks decent. I mean, he's never banked an insane amount. His APM's pretty high. Uh, Nervioso's APM has a lot to be desired. And with the lurkers being morphed, I'm not sure if he has enough here to counter those lurkers. I'm not sure if he actually has anything to counter the lurkers. Got some archons out, so he can um, target a zealot with an archon right next to a right next to a um, lurker, and will do damage to the lurker because, of course, archons do splash. But that's usually like a last resort option to kill a lurker. Yeah, um, you need observers. Corsairs with the plus one. So really, um, uh, speaking of plus one for Corsairs here, plus one is really only that useful against, uh, well, thinking of Scourge, I may get this wrong, but I um, the way I understand it is six plus one Corsairs will can kill a Scourge before it detonates on them. So it takes seven normal ones, so that kind of expounds, I believe. So it's something like that. So plus one if you're getting quite a few Corsairs, like on an island map, or if you're going like something like Carriers. Other than that, there's not really a reason to get that. It's, you know, it's, it's only 100-100, and obviously he's banking an insane amount here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm Jiraiya is very passive here. He could end this right away. He is all scared of the storms. But he did morph most of his, um, most of his Templars to Archon, so he only has like two storms here. And those Corsairs, oop, getting, uh, two of them getting picked off. Actually, all three, I think, yeah. And, a wow, so many bases going up here. This is absolutely insane. He is still macroing like a boss. He might just get maxed. Yep, this is a very passive game. Stay on top of the Mac, um, the upgrades here. Yeah, UMG definitely a good team. Uh, 
maybe uh, games I've watched, I don't know, they've lost a couple teams, but if they get a 3-0 here, which I have, I have a suspicion that they, they will, that definitely is going to put them up in a um, bit more of a chance uh, with... Um, in the rankings, especially that SKA for week seven, um, three owed. Wait, so this already take, took effect, but it, it was not updated on the rankings, I believe. Um, they three owed DM ice for week seven, so then they will drop, so then they will move up, I think, a little bit. And just insane, I'm gonna fast forward here a little bit. I think everybody knows what's going to happen here. Yeah, all right. Well, anyways, I'll just wait for it to pan out. This is just, he's just getting an insane number of bases here. All right, we should see the death blow very shortly. Yep, it's going to be a GG here. And let's get into game two of this. I believe to be a stomp. Alright. Okay. So, the next map is going to be Tau Cross. So, it is going to be Little Chava versus A Ayat. Alright, let's get into this. Hide the replay progress. Go. It is a ZVZ, so this uh, could be another very fast game. ZVZ's uh, really one of those matchups that you have to practice a lot to get good at. Um, it's just very. There's a couple like very uh, micro scenarios that if you you got to be really um, well practiced in. If you are not, then you will die. Scourge Muta Micro is very hard. Um, Ling vs Ling Micro is hard as well. You know, Ling Muta Micro, it's just hard, and most games are that. So. Expect these players to go pool first. See how early, um, how soon either of them goes pool. Looks like uh, little Chava is gonna get that uh, lucky Overlord Scout. Not lucky, but sent it to the right spot. Whereas Ayat is not. So a nice little bonus for little Chava. Okay, so going for a faster spawning pool is Little Chava. So we'll see what Ayat goes for. Ayat does have enough money for a pool. Alright, so we'll be a 12 pool versus a 9 pool. And faster gas, so... Ayat should come out of this ahead. Takes gas now. And I guess I'll talk a little bit about the map. Tau Cross. While we're waiting for this to ramp up. Tau Cross, of course, was used first time in 2006. So, it is a bit of an older map. It actually has quite a bit of wide open space. Um... Compared to some other maps like um, I don't know Peaks of Beidou, a couple of maps that have very tight compartments, um, it it has some pretty big open areas like a lot of um, north south fighting, uh, especially this angle, this angle, um, this angle here. Not a lot of well, I guess this plateau would be the only really one where you would get a lot of um, side to side fighting. So if if you're you know very familiar with like getting 
wide um, east to west fighting. This map may be a little harder because it's just a lot of north south fighting. I think in PvT that can be very challenging for Protosses. And we will zoom back in here. So the Lings coming in are going to take out that hatchery. I mean, they will not take out the hatchery, excuse me. We'll just put some pressure on it. So, little Chava is full all in here. His speed's going to finish now. So he does have speed, and really does not want to let that get canceled. Um, I think he'll be fine. He's got a couple more lings coming. He has three drone pulled, so he can block with them. Speed is not done for Aoth, but it will finish soon. But as long as he can defend successfully here, which looks like he will. Ooh, actually losing quite a few lings there. AI needs to be careful. Little Shava is serious with this. He is coming in. And let's see how good his micro is. Ooh, good micro by AI there, at least on that micro area. Uh, AI trading decently. Ooh, but the stacked drones do so well there. And we've already got two links popping. Wow, that stack drone was very nice. Drilled through those, glitched them, and wiped him out. And now speed's done. And now it's going to be pretty much Aot's game because he's a hatch up. And he will have the larvae a lead. So we do have a... Um, Spire coming out. Kind of expect when somebody goes on one basis because there's not much else they can do. So he is sending his lings across the map, and he will have more because of the increased larvae. So if he just rallies his um, larvae over there, he should be fine. Got a creep colony coming up, so he should be um, should be getting an Evo chamber. Oh, he's just getting a uh, sunken. He needs to get an Evo Chamber up soon so he can get Spores. And, ooh, got the better angle there. Aot's charging in here. Has more Lings, more Larvae. There is one Sunken. Needs to take this care fight carefully. Um, Alright, yep. Yeah. Had a little bit of a Larvae delay there. And does need to get the Evo Chamber down. So, okay, let's see how the angle is here. The angle is kind of weird for um, kind of weird for Aot there. I'm not sure what he was trying to zone in, but he's going to dive on that sill. Lost all his lings there. Not the best positioning by him. And we'll just settle into his game. Um, I'm going to speed up the game. Oops, two times two. Because um, these games, I just, you know, this is the C team, so I don't want to spend tons of time on this. I won't even, not even going to post this on Reddit, and I don't blame anybody if they don't want to watch this. But hey, it's just putting it up there to get it out there. So, and the first mutas are out. And you just come in here, there is a spore, they will take out this stuff, not the best, I mean, poor spore positioning, well, I don't know, maybe could have gotten away with it there. So we'll lose his, um, his spine, which is a bummer. Ooh, this is undefended here. Oh no, sorry, the overlord hiding that. So you'll be... Just fine. Did not lose the, did not lose the spine. Ooh, Ling's cleaning up here, getting a lot of kills. Aot is just getting more and more ahead since he is on two bases, getting a spire of his own, and soon we'll have Scourge, and we'll just be able to run him over with Scourge and Ling's. Needs to make sure it doesn't turn up too heavily here, though. Oh, he's diving. He thinks he can take it out. 
but not a great choice. Oh, well, it takes one out. And takes two out, losing a few um, losing a few mutalisks, and his own mutalisks will pop soon. So now these lings are on the, the their way over, though. They will clean up, and once his mutas reach there, he will be fine. Cleaning up all his drones here. Alright, GG. Ayat takes the game. Nicely done by Ayat. Okay. Let's get the game three loaded up here. Let's get it done. Get her done. Sorry if I'm not the most um energetic about this, but hey. I was hoping to do week uh, seven and just doing some more of week six. So, all right. So this is on Fighting Spirit, the two v two, Fighting Spirit legendary map. Okay, so we have for EMG, we have Ima Jiraira in the top um, left hand position, and also for EMG we have Castle, the Protoss, the Orange Protoss, in the um, top left uh, right hand position and we have little chava for the bottom bottom left hand and nervosai for the bottom right hand um Little discussion going back and forth here. So anyway, so it's a PVZ v PVZ. <laughs> Who's SK? Is there an EMG AP team? Yeah, there's just one EMG team as far as I'm aware. Castle, very good Protoss, very good um record. I'm surprised he didn't play the first game. Maybe he would have been the ace. So we'll see. Expecting to see a two gate. Okay. But it looks like they're planning something out. So pools coming in. For the Zergs. Much faster um, pool for Little Java. It is a 12 pool for Ira. So, again, the much safer build. Um, Little Chava going for the 9 pool. So, it's going to put him behind economically. So, It looks like they're getting a little worried. He's trying, going to try to delay that because it was a twelve, a nine pool. It's a two gate, two gates almost standard in two v two. It looks like Nervio size macro not the best. His like second gate's extremely late. Well, actually, he went for the earlier gas, so I'll explain it. Um, he is delaying that very well. Little Java with a nine pool need to move out extremely fast. He will be just fine. The pool will finish, and that second hatch will be on the way. He will be very fine. Not even moving out. Got the cyber core. Yeah, kind of a um, not committal here. Castle pumping out the zealots. And this tw this nine pool like not even it looks like they're gonna go in on little Java. So win for nine pool little Java, but it's hive. Okay. It's I mean it's I'm not sure he's saying, but um yeah going for that nine pool, but not really going for any build that would capitalize it. So, yeah, just going for the lair. And 
they know that, and they will try to take him out before he can get anything done on that. Only one sunk, uh, creep colony coming out. Uh, four zealots out. And still pumping out. Um, looks like they are going to go in for a dive here. And ooh, the let the he lost his position there at the ramp. He needed to pull drones and drill there. So yeah, this will pretty much be a slaughter, I think. Here, Volchava does not have enough at home, and there is zealots running in here. We'll take on that sunken, and we'll, we'll lose the sunken. Well, we'll see. Will the sunken fall? Oh, uh, it's going to be close. Yeah, the second will fall, and there are more zealots here. Little Chava will fall, GG. And I guess Nerviose is going to try to hang on with those zealots there. He will just get swamped. Alright, so, you know, this is a stomp here. <laughs> So this will just be automatically put up to YouTube, but of course this is boring, so I don't, you know, if this, I know this is boring, please don't comment. This is boring. I didn't have control over it, so, and I'll try to pick out a series that's better, but you never know. All right, so that's going to be it here. We'll hold the ramp for a little bit with the Zealots, but overall, just crushed by EMG. Um, yeah, EMG, like, they're mid-pack, but they're, they're definitely a very good team. You know, their players, their their macros good, micros pretty good. You know, and overall just know their builds. They're not like, I don't know, they're not like the highest highest caliber of you know possible. Like I don't think they're SKA level. I think they went two three with them, so they're they're similar caliber. And I really think that they do deserve a spot in the playoffs. Um, might be the fourth, the very last one. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna um, tap out now. So, see you guys later.